Hi friends, you are asking me to make a video from Apidea to the launch in the App Store and I'm doing that. But probably that will take more than one video. <laughs> so hear me out. I'm planning what I will do in the next months because January and uh, February was basically daily writing challenge. I launched my habit tracking application and I'm using it to track my writing habits and yeah, that was working well. And now I'm thinking what will I do in the March and then I was kind of let's build one more up and I come up with plan part-time indie development challenge basically build and launch up in 30 days why 30 days well 30 days makes a lot of sense because check this out so if I'm starting on Monday then I will be done when Last of Us is coming out so it is March 28 30 days is good deadline for launching the project and yeah I will be happy to play Last of Us at the end of this project I also did some kind of estimates how much I will spend time on what and what I will do in those 30 days so everything is here in days and those 30 days basically that is I'm part-time indie developer I still have my full-time freelance job and I have family and basically I can work for about two to maximum four hours in a day on side projects also on weekends on weekends as well if I don't want to be divorced <laughs> and I don't so let's dive in, in into that uh, project plan so product idea I have one day for coming up with product idea and validate that up idea so one day that means in my playbook about two maximum four hours and I wrote down actually that product today usually that is some kind of stopper. There are plenty of developers who are asking me, okay, that kind of sounds interesting, but how can you come up with product today? So it is easier if you start to do that regularly. I will suggest you to try to come up with one product today every day, just if it is dumb product today, anyways, come up with dumb product today. At the end of the month, you will have 30 product days and you can pick one less dumb idea. My product idea is also not kind of smart or awesome, but I don't know, part of them are working okay and generate some money. I would say try to solve your own problems. If you can't find any problems that you would like to solve, I don't know. If you would like to build iOS application, open release notes from Apple and take a look on what's new in the iOS 16, what kind of features are released, what frameworks are available, try to pick something that you would like to play around it and build product out of that, if nothing else is working. In my case, I already have some list of um, apps, something is in progress, something is um, probably I will work on my rounds CrossFit training application. I removed that application by myself because it was very old that project is developed in swift 2 probably if i'm lucky then swift 3 but anyways there is nothing re reusable it should be rebuilt from scratch user interface was also kind of kind of ugly i used that application i don't know about uh, seven eight years ago when i was doing crossfit basically i built that application for myself now i'm thinking to get back into the trainings not into the crossfit but in interval or tablet training something like that what i can do quickly at home and timer application something like that could help and why do not build that for myself so first day that is product today validation second day some design and MVP requirements just write down what you planned to build from start do not forget what you planned how to generate design ideas I will say go around the uh, app store dribble stuff like that look on applications that you like write down features that you like and you would like to implement on your application and try to move from there then five days for building MVP MVP in my playbook basically is something that I could use for myself write down maybe something for next versions if you see that you need to you already have something in the mind but try to keep it very simple you know and then if this mvp is working start to work on beta version public beta should be already something what app store test flight will approve and and allow to release and then then i have another five days for test flight launch starting basically to work on some feedback and fix loop and prepare for app store launch and app store launch that is kind of tricky you need app icon you need app store screenshots so maybe some design will be changed during the the test flight period another five days i would say you know and then three days basically that is already 
product launch, press kit for the application. Maybe if someone would like to write about it, but better to keep it ready. You know, marketing, public release, again, this fix an issue found. And last step in my playbook is monetization. For example, I launched my habit tracking application in the App Store without any monetization, just to see if this project has legs. Will I have any downloads, all that stuff, you know? So yeah, five days to add a few more premium features, monetization, all that stuff, and then we are done. Of course, application is not finished at this stage because applications are never finished. They could be just abandoned or something. You will still kind of keep working on features and so on and so on. But I will say that this application initial, initial building and releasing cycle or sprint will be finished at this point. And I counted here about 30 days, and if it is two to four hours every day, I will say an average three. So those are 90 hours. It's not too much, and it is not too little as well to build and release application. Doable. I am not planning to launch a new product every 30 days, but if I'm building some bigger feature for existing project, basically that is the same cycle. You have to come with kind of requirements, understand how you will implement that, make quick test to understand will that work, will not. MVP to test by yourself, basically it's the same cycle. So probably I will keep running in those cycles and we'll see. That could be interesting to try to make it some kind of group activity. I don't know, maybe on Discord, maybe somehow else, we'll see. If you are subscribed to my newsletter, you definitely will not miss the announcement if I will do this like kind of regular thing and will try to add kind of somewhere else in that cycle. You, for example, if you also would like to build applications because that could help, you know, to have some kind of accountability and mindset group to work together on this, on those applications. Thank you for watching. See you on next one. I will keep posting about this. We'll see how that will go. Hopefully <laughs> that will be new up in the App Store.